Philippians 4. A Philippi 4. Philippians 4, verse 4 is important for us. That's what we can do also. A Philippi 4, 4. Maybe if we start, I will show you this, this verse from verse 4. I will show you in practical what what is this verse is is us. It says, Rejoice in the Lord. Always, again, I will say what? Rejoice. It says, verse 5 Let your forbearance be known unto all men. In other words, you are going to be challenged so that you worry. So therefore, vengeance belongs to God. You just because how will you live? The Bible says, the Lord's hand, the Lord is at hand. In other words, the Lord is about to judge. So you leave it to God. Verse six. Is verse six In nothing be anxious. But in everything by prayer. And supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known. That first is saying, a Christian, they don't complain or worry, they pray. Verse 7, they don't complain or worry, they pray. In everything, that what is Christian, in Christians, number one, if they want to succeed, they must be happy always. Be happy in the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord. Two, Everything by prayer. There's no time to complain or tell you know, you're not a friend. In fact, if you're a Christian, you're not, you don't have a friend. You, have a or a sister, you, don't. you don't explain your problem to your friend. Your friend is Jesus. You are going to pray. I'm sure you understand that. So here it says, you, with thanksgiving and supplication, you put everything by prayer. The words that you were supposed to be telling someone, I've got this problem, whatever. whatever. You were supposed to be spending time praying. I don't know if you're hearing that. Verse 7 says, and the peace of God. Verse 7, and the peace of God. Which passes all understanding. Shall guard your hearts and your mouth. In Christ Jesus. Let me pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. You are going to come to the front. You are going to come to the front. You are going to come to the front. I want to show you another one to here. And another one here. You see that? Look at this scripture. Let's read it again. Verse, it says, and the peace of God. In other words, let's get someone here. Uh, no, no, no. Let's see. Let's get someone here. Yeah, let's get someone here. Come on. Face that side. Okay. This one is a Christian. Can you see that? This one is a Christian. This is the mind of okay. this Christian. And this is the heart of this Christian. And this one is peace. Can you see that? Amen. So let's read this verse you understand. And the peace of God is this. Can you see the peace of God? Here? It says, the peace of God which passes all these surroundings situations, challenges understanding shall guard shall guard. In other words, this peace will make sure that the mind Kuchoye abide with peace. Eka dira ori mo kupolo wo. Utsene ka kucho. The heart of this Christian. Even le pilu yamo pulusa wo. Occupied with what? Itale li ona ka inga kucho. And the peace is here. And the kucho i mola. But there are many misunderstandings. Mara wona li chedi ngwe chau tate wa chau taka taka na namo. So this peace of God. Will guard the mind and the heart. It will shut the mind and the heart. So that 
the peace will always be inside. The peace, when it's facing there, is defending. There are things that want to enter that mind. There are things that want to enter that heart. But it must pass here. I don't know if you hearing me. So always, this peace will know that something is coming. And drop it down. Look at that verse. Look at verse 8 now. That Christian at the back, because of the peace, which is in the mind, and in the heart, it says, finally, brethren, whatever, whatsoever things are true, in other words, untrue things will come here. You see that? Amen. It will be challenged and fall down. And the peace. Right. Number, okay, let me read that verse 8. eight. Whatsoever things are honorable, things which are worthy, worthy and worthy things, will and come and here. And the peace of God will kick them away. I don't know if you're hearing me. So this is the angel of peace that guides the mind and the heart of this Christian. All right. It was ever things of good or lovely. Yeah, let's say lovely. Pure, good, good report. If there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on those things. Right. Look here. This Christian, if the mind is occupied by the angel, that has brought peace to the heart they say to this Christian this Christian will be able to meditate the things which are good the things which are worthy the things which are honorable of good report because the angel there of peace will crush everything I don't know if you hear me. Let's take, come here, come sister, come running here. So untrue things are running there. Go there. So this one will defend. Oh, come here, come here, untrue. Or, or false. You are false. Your name is what? False. Yeah. So now, false is going there. False is going there. Will be defended. You, you block that person, come back. You, you block the person. Run, the, run the force. Uh -huh. Pull the force back. So the peace of God is always will fight whatever that comes. And make that one. Make that one. Make that one. Make that that one. Make that one. Make that one. that one. Make 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 that one. Whatever that is honorable of good report. That Christian will never fail. Can you run that? Now you are hanger. Run hunger. Block, block where now. This piece, this one is challenge. Go back. Now, okay, you are a disappointed. Run disappointed. You are blocked. Go back. So even when the Christian seeing disappointing running, that disappointing issues will be sustained by the peace. It won't touch the mind. It won't touch the heart. It won't touch the heart. Look here. If it touches here, the peace of God will disappear. It won't touch the heart. You want to kill yourself. You can't sleep. Disorganizing things. Do you understand that? Now, let's call you jobless run. Block. 
Jobless, you are blocked. Come here. That man, just wave your hand like you are praising. Carry on praising you. Just wave your hand like you are praising. Carry on 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 praising. You are good, O oh God. Thank you. I bless you. Holy name. I worship you, Father. Lord, I thank you for everything. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I bless your holy name. You are holy, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, I bless your holy name. I worship you, Father. There is no one like you, Father. There is no one like you, God of the Bible. I bless your holy name. I worship you. God bless you. God bless you. So. Look here. Why now we become offended? I want to talk about Why you are not it. Put it, close your Bible now. Why now when something wrong enters, come here? Why you are not doing it? And you become offended. It disturbs our is small. From there, we want to speak for ourselves. If a Christian is standing here, unemployment comes to this world. Are you hearing me? The moment when unemployment is coming and, and there is no peace here of God, the peace of men will just come and occupy the mind, occupy the heart. From there, we need to prove right. Speak for ourselves. Ah, no, it's fine. Ah, uh, no, God will do it one day. I know some people will do it one day. We normally want to answer for ourselves. Want to defend ourselves. We want to say, oh, you know, that man is not a good man. No, 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 Whatever you are going through, it's a, it's a testimony in disguise. If you know that what you are going through is a testimony in disguise, God, God can allow you to be sick so that you healed men. Are you hearing me? God can allow you to be poor so that you can be rich. God can allow you to be poor so that you feed men. God can allow you to be poor so that you feed men. God can allow you to be poor so that you feed men. If it's not God allowing it, uh, you are supposed to have stopped it because you are a Christian. God can allow funeral to come. God can allow anything to come. Whatever comes your way is the will of God. Stop Take it to God. If you're a Christian life, and God who knows your heart, He will reward you openly. God bless you. God bless you. Ask your neighbor, are you still worried? Say, answer me. And the answer is what? Hearing petulo. Huh? No. If you stop worrying, I'm giving you two weeks, you'll be having a testimony. Two weeks. You come here. You dance your style here. You dance your style here. You are rejoicing. You are rejoicing in the Lord. People are criticizing you, talking against you. You don't even look at them. Amen. Amen. Okay, God bless you. Keep watching Charis TV.